anti-army today. So today, or tonight, 20 past four, what is that? Today, tonight, I don't know. I am going to be making some healthier version of um, lettuce wraps, turkey mince lettuce wraps. So it, you might have tasted things like that in a Chinese restaurant or a P.F. Chang's or something like that. And I'm going to do my version. My version is obviously a WTF version because it's what's in the fridge. Uh, I have always have an idea of what I'm going to do and then I go and I go, oh, I haven't got that, I haven't got that, I haven't got that. So we're going with what I do have, okay? So first off, I've got my big walkie walk. So I'm walking over that knife, man, like I'm going to stuff somebody. So I'm going to heat up the walkster. That's a bit sad, isn't it? I'm going to put in some sesame oil, which is really lovely for kind of stir fry type thing. And it's got quite a high smoke point, so it's better for you. And it's made of sesame seeds, it's going to be good. Okay, so that is going in there. So while that's heating up, I have got just a chunk of ginger. Can you see that? I've also got some garlic, and I've got just a few random little spring onions that were in the um in the fridge so we're just going to give those a wee chop it is going to be literally just a chuck it in chuck it in see okay so keep those for a wee minute now even if your ginger looks like it's a hundred as long as it's not gone mouldy it's okay you can just Cut off the outside, but oh, I love the smell. Smell of fresh ginger. Reminds me of my granny for some reason. She used to love chocolate gingers. Anyway, so we're going to chuck off. Wouldn't it be great if you could just cut off that old skin? Right, so give that a bit of chop. Na, 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 na. Just give it a bit of a chop. Doesn't matter how you cut things, it really doesn't. Nobody is actually. I was taught how to chop things properly when I was at hotel school. No. Better. I'm not being examined now. Right. So that's my gingery bits. Garlic. I like quite a lot of garlic. So I'm going to put in three decent sized ones there. And I'm going to get that and I'm going to squish that in pretty quickly because you are better to put garlic in a pan that isn't boiling, boiling hot. Oh, one of the dogs has come to see me. That means it must be nearly dinner time. Hello, my dog. Okay. La, 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 la. So you can really make, you know, just experiment with stuff. Even if it goes wrong, it really doesn't matter. It's just food. Just food. Right, so I'm going to give that a squish. Chuck that in. Give it a bit of ginger in straight away as well. Get that in too. Give it a little stir. And we're just going to get this turkey in. So I've just bought basic turkey mince. So I'm just going to whack that in straight away. So that is all going to brown for a minute. I will probably speed this up so you don't have to watch me going stir, 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 stir. Then I'm going to start adding in a little bit more flavouring. And um, I've got a packet in the fridge of some mixed, mixed veg. So when I'm ready to serve this, that's going to get whacked in the wok super quick and then it's all going to go in nice little little slats. So, I'm going to go back to my stirring. Okay, so I just 
set out some of my wool because I forgot to put the extract fan on and we've got this double pink ceiling and for some reason that's what always happens. So I'm now ready to start to add some flavouring. So I'm going to put in some oyster sauce. Thing, but if you want a tablespoon, it takes forever. Okay, so they are done, they are done, they are done. I haven't got any chilli flakes, but I do have chilli sauce. So I'm going to put a bit of chilli sauce in. Put one of those in. And put some salt and pepper. Oh, nope, we've got that. finish this. This has been sitting with some, uh, with covered and although it doesn't look particularly appealing, it smells and it tastes so nice. So what I've done is I've reheated it very quickly and I'm going to put it just in the oven literally just to keep warm while I super quickly stir fry a veg. So this is going to go in the oven. It's a little bit noisy in here because my microwave's on for um, the girlies dinner. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my sesame oil. I'm going to bring my pan back up to heat. It's got nice and hot. Put this in. But I haven't washed the pan. It's going in the same run. Save water and energy. And actually, I'm just too lazy. And <clears throat> I've literally just got a stir fry mix here from the supermarket. Nothing fancy, and I have our little thing we jigs here. So, if I let that heat up, I'll push out these because I need to give them a little bit of a wash. Okay, so I'm just going to carefully. Take out. Now these are little gem lettuce, sometimes you could use Boston lettuce leaves. Basically, we're going to put our turkey mince in there with some of our veg. And that's how we're going to eat it. So, by the time you get down to the bottom, it can't, they're a bit small to use really. So, oh, pan sizzling. So I would just leave those and use them for something else. Another day. Okay, that one's a bit yuck. Right, so while that is done, this is sizzling, chop that in. So that is just on a high heat, just mixing up with the sesame oil. Take that for a minute, give this a bit of a wash. This is an easy way. 
to get it dry is to get a clean tea towel, like you would a child or yourself, and just dry it with the tea towel. Okay, so just stick your lettuce by the tea towel, try not to squish it, in fact, let's get two. And we stir the washing pan. Okay, so these ones we can put away back in the fridge for another day. Get that pack down. Okay. Let that dry out. You could have done that ahead of time. Okay, let's just reshape a little bit. And I'm just going to literally put these together in my dish. Okay, so as you can see that was only a few minutes, that's all it needs. something on your work surface. I've got work surfaces that don't burn for some reason. No, I have no idea why, but they're fabulous. So, then we just assemble. So, we assemble. Get our lettuce leaf, put some stir fry veg, put some of our turkey mince. Now you could put a little bit of in or something on top if you wanted. You could always do it the other way, so you could put your turkey mince in first, a little bit of veg on top, whatever works for you. Okay, so we can just put them in together. I think I like the mince on the bottom actually. If you had um, some more spring onions, which I haven't got, it's nice to add a few more spring onions to the top. It smells so nice. And you've seen it is, it's so simple. So simple. And it's really healthy. I've got a really itchy nose tonight. I've got no idea why. Oh, we're not going to get angry. That's what they say in Scotland. I'm not sure they say that though. Right, right so we literally just pop these in. This is for puppies in my dinner. No, no, no. That was actually kind of a Leftovers, so I'll be tomorrow's lunch as well. Okay, so let's pop that in. Yeah, it's a bit messy eating, but you know, it's good to eat your fingers. That's what kitchen paper and napkins are for, isn't it? So let's pop these ones in. I cooked some of this cool black quinoa. Can you see that? I cooked that earlier. Just because I haven't had it for a while, and I thought, oh, I'm not quite sure I'm going to do that. So tomorrow, I've not decided, some of this is going to be mixed up with the quinoa. Right, let's put one more in. Squeeze that one in. And what you could do is get a little bit of your, where is it? Either your soy sauce, I've got my oyster sauce, and just a little bit over the top. Look at that. Honestly, it smells so nice. Let me bring this over to show you. So look. My turkey lettuce wraps. And they're so easy. And they really do smell good. Okay? So, make some turkey lettuce wraps. See you next time.